Hey you guys, this is Mr. Millings and in this video we are going to learn about something called water electrolysis. So what is electrolysis and how does it work? Well it says right here that electrolysis is the chemical decomposition produced by passing an electric current through a chemical substance. And so in this video what we are going to do is we are going to apply this concept of electrolysis to water. And so when we pass an electric current through water what ends up happening is that electric current has enough energy to break the chemical bonds that hold the hydrogen and oxygen together in a water molecule and the end result is the formation of hydrogen gas and oxygen gas the two elements that make up water okay so understand this concept that electrolysis is the chemical decomposition produced by passing an electric current through a chemical substance and when we pass uh, an electric current through water this water molecule is going to decompose into hydrogen gas and oxygen gas and we can see this chemical reaction demonstrated using what is called a Hoffman voltmeter and here's how a Hoffman voltmeter works what we're going to do here is we're going to add some water to our Hoffman voltmeter and then what we're going to do is we are going to add just the smallest amount of sulfuric acid so that way it can conduct an electric current better and so what we are then going to do is we are then going to uh, place the rubber stoppers on the bottom of these burettes and these rubber stoppers have connected to them an electrode here and an electrode here typically made out of platinum and these electrodes are then hooked up to some sort of battery source right we have a positive end of a battery and the negative uh, terminal of a battery right here so we have this all hooked up to a battery source and once we connect these wires to the positive terminal and the negative terminal here what we're going to start to see coming from these electrodes are these little bubbles that will start to appear in the water on this side and on this side and so what's happening here well what is happening is that our water molecule here after we pass an electric current through it is producing hydrogen gas and oxygen gas and we can see that as bubbles in these two burettes right here so how do we figure out which of the bubbles is hydrogen and how do we figure out which of the bubbles is oxygen gas and hydrogen gas well the way that we can do that is by taking a look at the decomposition of our water molecule we have water right here in the liquid state and the water is being converted into hydrogen gas and oxygen gas we know that in an H2O molecule our hydrogen because it comes from group 1 forms positive ions positive 1 or 1 plus ions and our oxygen since it comes from group 16 right forms negative 2 ions or 2 minus ions and so if we take a look over here on the product side our hydrogen gas is elemental hydrogen and all elements have no charge at all so our hydrogen gas is neutral our oxygen gas is also elemental oxygen and therefore has no charge at all so what must have happened to this hydrogen to go from a positively charged ion on the reactant side to a neutrally charged hydrogen molecule over here on the product side well the hydrogen is going to have to gain an electron the hydrogen is going to have to gain an electron if we take a look at what's happening to the oxygen right here oxygen right is forming uh, or has a negative 2 charge on the on the reactant side but if we take a look over here on the product side this oxygen gas is neutral it has no charge at all so what must happen for this oxygen here to go from a negative 2 charge to a neutral charge is that this oxygen is going to have to lose two electrons so understand that concept and so what is it called when atoms lose or gain uh, electrons well you have to remember this right here oil rig oil rig oxidation is losing electrons and reduction is gaining electrons and so if we take a look our hydrogen gains an electron so hydrogen is reduced right hydrogen is reduced and if we take a look at our oxygen here oxygen is losing two electrons so keep in mind that oxidation is losing so oxygen is oxidized 
So our hydrogen is reduced during this chemical reaction and our oxygen is oxidized during this chemical reaction. And so knowing these concepts, how can we figure out which side is the oxygen and which side is the hydrogen gas in our Hoffman voltmeter? Well, you have to remember something called red cat and anox. Red cat means that reduction occurs at the cathode and anox means that oxidation occurs at the anode. And so because our oxygen is being oxidized, that is going to take place at our anode. And because hydrogen is being reduced and is gaining an electron, this is going to occur at our cathode. Keep in mind red cat. But that doesn't quite help us to the fullest extent. If we take a look here, we can see that when hydrogen gas and oxygen gas is being produced during the electrolysis of water here, the ratio of hydrogen gas to oxygen gas is 2 to this imaginary one right here. So there's going to be twice as much hydrogen gas during this chemical reaction as oxygen gas. And so if we take a look right here, we can see the empty space in this burette is about half as much as the empty space in this burette. So there's twice as much gas in this burette as there is in this burette right here. And so if we take a look at our mole ratio according to our chemical reaction, we're going to have twice as much hydrogen gas. So this burette right here, since it has twice as much empty space, contains our hydrogen gas. Our H2 gas is right here. And this burette right here contains our O2 gas. Okay? And so, once again, because our oxygen is being oxidized, and we know this little acronym right here, ANOX, well, our oxygen right here is taking place at our anode, which is connected to the positive terminal of our battery. And if we take a look over here, our hydrogen is being reduced and red cat means that reduction occurs at the cathode. So this little electrode here is connected to this wire that is connected to our negative terminal here. So the negative terminal here is our cathode. The positive terminal here is going to be our anode. And that is water electrolysis. So if you like what you see, go ahead and click that little bomb in the bottom right hand corner and that will subscribe you to my channel. And feel free to leave any comments or questions in the comment section down below. And I really hope you guys found this helpful.